doing. We were trying to beat each other and we were trying to win the cash prize. That's what everybody was doing. And I think sometimes that can just get lost when you're sitting in you're sitting in your house or or wherever you live and you're with your family and you're watching TV. All of that can get lost because you're just watching the product that's in front of you. But what was behind all of that was actually a really fun, beautiful and transcending experience. What I experienced out there was nothing short of an ass kicking. And that is exactly what I needed as a person. I didn't realize at the time that's what I needed in my life. But you know what? That's what happened to me. I got my ass kicked. It was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And I made friendships with people. Excuse me. I made friendships with outstanding, amazing people that are going to last me a lifetime. That's the real win in the show. And that's not what's coming across the screen because that's not what the show's supposed to be. The, supposed, the show is supposed to be a spicy survival reality TV show series. And it's doing its job. People are watching it. People are talking about it. People are engaging with the contestants and with each other about what happened. But what we also need to do is while we're seeing maybe negative traits come out of, a, of someone's personality at a certain time, we need to also take this chance to focus on the humanity and the good things that happened in this experiment. Yes, there was lying, cheating, stealing. Welcome to reality TV. That's what we were there to do. And we put on a good show. I mean, it's very controversial. There's a lot of tears. I think everybody cried at one point while we were out there. Every single person cried. And that's the point of the show is to make it hard, make us cry. They film it and we have a show. Perfect. Now, it's up to the rest of us as humans to decipher what the hell happened out there. There is no way eight episodes can cover everything that happened. I think Netflix, personally, I think they did a really good job of putting out a product that gets the people talking. You know, we have a really good chance here to look and see what happens when you bring 16 people from all different walks of life, all different ages, different backgrounds, and you throw them in a situation where it's put up or shut up, do or die. And while a lot of us dropped out and a lot of us, uh, everyone had their own reasons for stepping away from the contest where they didn't want to continue anymore, there's just as many valuable lessons on the positive side. Every team was able to build a shelter. Every team was able to build a raft. People were able to work together in, a, in maybe a scenario or a type of person that they wouldn't just in their normal daily life. And I think that that's something that's really being missed here is, you know what? Yeah. Reality TV is nasty. That's awesome. That's the point of it. You're watching trash TV. That's the whole point of what we're doing. But you can still find a gem in the trash. And that's uh, that's something that I really took forward with me uh, leaving the show was, um, you know, it, it was it, it was a, an experience that would make me think. Uh, I haven't stopped thinking about that the island since I've been out there. And the longer I've been away and the more those lessons really absorb into me as a person. I'm finding more good than bad. And um, I think as the show is up there and the longer we talk about it and maybe people watch and rewatch and maybe see some things, you can see that there's actually a lot of really good humanity out there. And there is actually one thing, and I'll, I'll get to this later in the interview. There's one thing out there that I think was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw an individual make a decision that I think was the single most important and beautiful decision I've ever seen another person make. And because I witnessed that and I got to be a part of this whole experience, I've walked away with life lessons that have seriously changed me as a person for the rest of my life. Now, as far as the show goes, what happened to me out there, I simply just hit it way too hard. I got way too excited. I got my big shot, my big break. I had big cameras in front of my face and you know what? They would ask me, you want to go do this? You want to go do that? And I wasn't going to say no to that. I quit my job in construction to go out there. I was going to leave it all on the table. And that's exactly what I did. I left it all on the table. I left every little bit of my heart and soul on that island. And I feel good about it. What happened to me is I just simply didn't eat enough and I did too much. And my body started to shut down. 
And I eventually, um, in the show, I faint one time and I get carried off. But in reality, I, I think I fainted about three or four times. And um, that was the last time where I think we were starting to re- I was really starting to tread into dangerous water. Um, I lost consciousness and hit my head on a tree as I was falling down. And um, the medics pulled me aside and we had a fantastic safety structure out there. Netflix was on the ball. Uh, The producers out there were all very professional. And um, while we were in a heightened state of danger, we were relatively safe. Netflix had our back and production had our back and we were totally safe. But I personally reached a point where, hey, I can't even walk through the woods. I'm losing consciousness. I'm hitting my head. I'm falling over. At one point, I don't think it made it into the final cut. At one point, I accidentally almost cut my thumb off with the hatchet as I'm cutting wood. 